Attorneys representing a man charged with murdering Ahmad Arbery are speaking publicly for the first time. The team out of Decatur, Georgia, representing the accused shooter, 34-year-old Travis McMichael. Our commitment to you and to Mr. McMichael is to review everything in this case and not judge anything until we have all the facts as well. Jason Sheffield and Robert Rubin held a news conference today saying that while the shooting was captured on video, the events leading up to the deadly confrontation remain unknown. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Kelly Wiley is joining us live from Brunswick with what else these attorneys had to say. Kelly? Well, Travis McMichael's attorney spent most of this time actually urging people, viewers, not to rush to judgment. They say Travis has been vilified before having his voice heard. Currently, Travis and his father, Greg McMichael, are sitting in Glynn County Jail without bond facing murder charges. Police reports state that Travis McMichael grabbed his shotgun, got in a truck with his father, and then drove down the street looking for the man they saw running down the road. The report states the two shouted to Arbery to stop running. Then Travis got out of the truck with his firearm. Video shows the two struggle over the gun, and then you hear three gunshots and see Arbery fall to the ground. Today, his attorney says we know the end, but that we don't know the beginning. They also ask that people reserve judgment until all the facts are presented in a court what we're asking and we're imploring everybody for the sake of, of of our communities is to just take a breath let the facts develop let the case play out where it should play out which is I think we can all agree in court not on TV shows not in the in the press during the press conference, it was asked why the McMichaels chose to get in their truck and drive to find the person they saw running down the street. This was attorney Bob Rubin's response. So we're listening to what the family has to say, but we're also listening to the other witnesses in the community, and we will be reviewing all of what we understand is out there. There's a lot of information out there, and as we take it in and we digest it, again, our commitment is to the truth which will answer that question eventually. And we believe that answer will come forward as we move through the court system. And this is the first time we're actually hearing somebody who represents the McMichael speak on their behalf. Tomorrow, we understand we might also hear a press conference from attorneys representing his father, Greg McMichael. But coming up at six o'clock, we're going to hear more from this defense team. And we're also expecting a response from Ahmad Arbery's family, their attorneys, um, in reaction to what's been said in this press conference today. For now, reporting live in Brunswick, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.